Good morning and welcome to GCTV. I'm Rashad Thompson and today in the studio we have a very special guest, the legendary musician and songwriter Gary Ramsey. Morning Gary. Morning brother, how's it going? All right, all right, how you doing today? Hogging up all the ugly as usual, man. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. So look, let's get started. Tell me how you guys start doing your music thing. Oh man, it's all my relatives on my mom's side would play the guitars or banjos or something, you know, but the family mm -hmm. reunions, they sit there and I pick and grin and right. my grandfather played guitar. And um, originally, I actually got into playing guitar because I didn't want to be a grease monkey working <laughs> on cars. I hate you. And I thought originally I wanted to do it for girls, but turns out I was just too lazy for a regular job. Right. <laughs> it as ain't a musician, everybody. man, as a musician, I can sit down and play and play all the one, have fun and do what I, what I like. Right. And get paid for that, and yeah. not have to go out and put up, put up with a boss. Right, right. You can enjoy yourself. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I enjoy myself every day. Oh yeah, you got to. I wake up happy because I woke up. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I wake up every morning and I'm like, hey, I throw the door open. Most people, opportunity in life knocks on their door. Uh huh. Some people will run to the bathroom and hide. I don't, man. I throw no. that door open and say, come on, life, give me what you got. Right. You take life as it is. Heck yeah, man. Day gotta by day. Live. Gotta live it, man. Yes, sir. Every moment. Our, I figure our lifetimes are a birth date, a dash between that uh -huh. and the day we died. Uh -huh. What you got to do is make the most out of that dash right, that you right. can. That's a good way to look at yeah, it. Yeah, you got to make that happen. You got to be happy. Right, right. You, if you, I mean, it's, it's a choice, man. You don't have to be sad. There's no rules that you have to be unhappy. Right. So I, I choose happy. <laughs> right. That's the best way to do I it. I like right? it, man. All right, so, so tell me, what music do you like to play or what instrument do you like to play? Oh, God, man, I like to play all of them, man. Uh -huh. I started out doing acoustic, mostly. Okay. Then I moved up to an electric guitar. Right. And most of the bands, we couldn't find a bass player. Mm. So I started playing bass. Wow. So I started playing bass, and then after that, I got really good on the bass, and everybody said, well, we got us a new bass player. And all these yeah. bands were hiring me for fill-ins as their bass players. So uh -huh. I started doing that, and then... Played with a few bands. I got this band called Machine. Okay. We jammed for about 10 years. We were rocking, man. We were the top band around here. Oh. It was all original stuff. We had probably 120 originals. Okay. And they're local in this area? Yes, back sir. Then? We were the first band from or this area that played a whole entire show, nothing but originals. Oh. And people didn't even know they were originals. And you were doing started, bass and everything else? I was playing bass and singing for that band. So you like a jack of all trades. Yes, sir. And master of none. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it's been fun, man. It's been a fun ride. Yeah, I bet. I bet. And, yeah. you know, of course, the chicks were there back in the day. Oh, yeah. That's the good part. And what's really cool is when we were just like out playing, man, we were, the songs were, were so popular. Right. It got to the point where the people were singing them back to us. Uh -huh. And that was the biggest rush I got. That had to having be people feeling. singing my vocals, yeah. my lyrics, yeah. back to me. So after that, you know, that, after about 10, 15 years, that went fizzled out, and everybody went their own way, as bands will. Oh. You know, and this is how that, you know, like, kind of like a marriage. You've got to be buddies and friends. And when you're together so much, right. every day and every night, mm -hmm. day in, day out, you, you don't have those points, points where you start to hate each other. Right, right, right. But we didn't want it to be like that, so we right. just went our own way. So I kept on writing, man. I've had I started writing songs just doing that. Okay. And I've had people do cover some of my songs. Right. I've got a girl in uh, Massachusetts named Dawn Alberts. Oh. Uh. Outstanding singer. Sounds like Janis Joplin. Okay. She does like three or four of my tunes. Yeah. I had a guy in uh, Tennessee named Bill Sterling. Right. Did one of my country songs. So I write every genre, man. It makes no difference to me. Music yeah. is all music. That's how I got to be, man. You got to keep <laughs> it fresh. Right. And um. Even Patrick, my, my buddies for DAD, okay. they do one of my songs called Call of the Wild. Mm. That's one of the most popular songs I've written. And I got one called She Ain't You that everybody loves, you know. Man, so you known, man. Oh, yeah. You I'm, all around the I'm, country. I've been man. around. I'm worldwide. I got stuff in Europe, Germany, France, mm. uh, Australia. Tell me about that. I was getting to the point where I was getting really tired, man, of just mm. the bull crap with the music industry. Right. I was about to give up. And a friend of mine introduced me to the, the most amazing guitar player named Pekka Loikinen. Okay. And he said he had he did all the instrumentals. And he was looking for somebody to write lyrics and do the vocals and all. Mm. So we did that. First couple of songs. Right. Did them and they took off really well. Okay. So from that day, from 2010 to now, yeah. we're up to like 40 songs. And all those songs yeah. are being played on radio stations, internet radio stations around the world. 
What? And uh, did a big interview with uh, Morbid North Radio. They even made a joke. They called me Ramsey 5000. Why? Because I jammed with everybody. Right. I would play with anybody. They so, said I was a musical hooker. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how was the love across seas? I know they had to show you love. Is oh, it, dude, they love it, man. Is it the same from, from America? Or is it different? Or? No, it's kind of different, man. But the, people, the ones in Europe and all that, they, they dig the lyric styles and the vocal styles. And right. They were, they're really more appreciative of the music. Okay. And um, all that, in Australia, I've got some fans in Australia that freak me out. Mm. They'll just they just crack me up with some of the messages they sent me. In Australia? Yeah. <laughs> Down and, under. Yeah, and I did a show. And there's some guys in England. Okay. What they called the Hellfire Club. Mm. Sent me a track. They wanted me to do the vocals of a remake of an old Black Sabbath song. Okay. Did that. It took off well. Mm. They played all over England. And then I took and redid that song by Dolly Parton. Okay. Jolene. Jolene. I did that song, redone really it, and uh, did it my style, but I did it from the man's point of view. Because uh, I'm thinking, I like the song when Dolly Parton did it. Right. But I'm thinking, you know, like, if that woman was so bad ass mm -hmm. that Dolly Parton had to beg her to leave her man alone. Right. Imagine what the dude was thinking. <laughs> right, right, right. So I turned it all around. He's and a did tough guy. The, yeah, I did it from the guy's point of view, like, Jolene, don't break my heart. Right, right. So, yeah, that took off pretty good. Oh, man, so you and, got accolades, man. And I had a guy in West Virginia send me a track that he wanted to do a bluegrass tune, and I never did bluegrass. Okay. So I wrote the lyrics and did the vocals, and I, I got the track, and it, something in it struck me right, and I wrote the lyrics down and recorded them, mm -hmm. sent them back to him within the hour, had it mixed and everything. That quick. Yeah. Man, that's tough. And after that, it took off, and it wound up being a theme song for a T-shirt company in, in Virginia. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, they got their commercial on YouTube and everything. That was so cool. So you're doing all right. It's what I do, man. Hey, it's what I do. And you love it. Yeah. That's the important part. That's, I love it, man. Yeah. I mean, that's, I, I love everything, dude. Right. I have no room in my heart for hate, period. Right, right. Hate hate just grows stronger if you feed it. Oh. Uh, you got to starve that. A lot of people don't look at it like you gotta that. You got to feed the love, man. Yeah, yeah. The love don't see color. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I don't, you know, now, look, let me ask you this. Since you've been all around the world and you've experienced all different types of things, what influenced you the most, or who influenced you the most? Oh, God, man. Because I know it's a There's lot of different so people. So many. <laughs> yeah. Did it change with the times? Or? Yeah, it changed with the times a little bit. Um, early on, mm -hmm. I was a huge Alice Cooper fan because of the lyrics he wrote. Okay. And then I got into Zeppelin. My very first concert was Led Zeppelin. Oh, and, legendary. And, and yeah, oh, my God, it was so good. Yeah. And I caught on to that. I went, I went immediately and bought the album. And then Kiss came around. Okay. And then once Kiss came around, I joined the Kiss Army. I was one of yeah. the freaks, man, running around yeah. with the paint on my face, going to the concerts, and uh. just loved it, you know? Changed with the times, but stayed yes, the sir, same. stayed the same. Change, yeah. the, change a little, stay the same. Right, right, right. When the way my grandfather told me one time, he said, you got to have enough wisdom to know you're not better than anybody. Right. But enough strength to believe in yourself and know, you're not, and know that you're different than mm. everybody. Yeah, you got to be different. You got to be you. Right, right. Because you know, everybody else is taking it. <laughs> you got to be original. Yeah, you got to be real, man. You got to keep it real. You got to be, like, I prefer being honest and straightforward with people. Okay. I don't play no games, man. I mean, I don't have a filter. Right. I mean, and I, people appreciate that more when you're and, honest with them. And I can tell quick if, if I like somebody or not. You know, right, Within right. four or five minutes of talking to them. Gotcha, gotcha. And I usually like everybody, man. I mean. Yeah. Well, I hope I, I'm on your good side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like you already. I'm going to yeah. send you something for Christmas. Hey. <laughs> But yeah, dude, it's, I mean, it's just the way it is, man. I just wake up. I, I'll wake up in the night and I hear songs in my head. Yeah. I'll hear lyrics and I'll get up. My wife will get up and see me in there at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. At my desk, just writing like crazy. Trembling paper up. Going to uh. And then writing some more. And I got notebooks laying around with two or three lines here. And, right. And I do it like that. And so you got a real gift, man. It's, that's what everybody says. Yeah. I don't understand it because it just comes natural. Yeah, that's a gift. It's just weird. Everybody don't get that. You know, some people uh, got the gift to be doctors or well, veterinarians. I, I thank God for that. Though. Yeah. That's why people ask me why I put my music out there free. Right. It didn't cost me anything. It's a gift from God. Right, right. So share it. That's an awesome way to look at it, share man. Share it. I and never... hopefully it influences. Like when they did a benefit for me, I almost lost my leg. Mm. And they all got together. All these bands and musicians got together. Yeah. And did a benefit for me because they all said I influenced them. Oh. And they, That's love. Each, each band did a couple of my songs. And yeah. They raised a, a great chunk of money for me. Okay. The bar sold completely out of beer. <laughs> they loved that. That's always good, right? They were having to run to the store to get more beer. That was funny. Ooh. And uh, it was a fun party. There was 14 bands played. Mm. 
It was killing. Y'all went all night. It did. It started at like noon and went till like midnight. And Patrick, he played the show. Mm. They like they ended the night, and it was it was cool, man. Yeah. And actually, it about it about made me cry, man. I said. I'm sitting in the back watching everybody playing, right. hearing all these great things they're saying about me and stuff. And yeah. I'm thinking, this is how I want my funeral to be. <laughs> <laughs> I want to party with bands and stuff. That, that means you're doing something right. Yeah. If people come out and, and support you and show love in your time of need, then you're doing something right for the people. Yeah, because, well, that's what one woman said. She said that every time a, a benefit comes around, mm -hmm. I'm the first one to volunteer. Right, right. I, I played so many benefits, it's not funny. Okay. I mean, I've done it with full bands. I've done it with just the acoustic show. That's good, because everybody don't do that. Right, when it's just it's true, you know? Yeah. And I'll even jump in with bands and be an extra member. Right, right. Like you said, you did with the uh, bass. You jump in and I'll play jump bass. I'll jump on guitar, them. bass, and just sing, man. I, there's right. a band called All of a Kind. Great blues band. Mm -hmm. And when if I get ready to do a blues show, I'll hire them, and I'll pay them to be my backing band while I'm the singer. Right. We've done some kick. We've done some killer shows. But that's good when you're reciprocating the love. Yeah. Okay. And, you, and when you're happy and loving what you're doing, the crowd feels it. Right. They right. can tell if, if you're mailing it in right. or if you're doing it for real. Right. That's the way that now, works. Now, let me ask you real quick before we wrap it up. We heard you were hitchhiking one time from the West Coast back to North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, there's that a true reason for or? that. It's true. Okay. Man, there was an earthquake. Oh. Uh. I did not like that. I didn't. I just didn't like the earthquake. Okay. With any time the ground's shaking and you're falling down, you can't get up. That's scary. I, I don't want to live there. <laughs> right, right, right. So, yeah, I just took off, man. When I was younger, I, I just took off cross country. Mm. I'd throw a dart at a map, and wherever it hit, that's where I'd go. Yeah. I was, I was single. I was young. I was healthy. I was crazy. <laughs> mm. I always had a bottle of whiskey in my pocket. <laughs> a bottle of whiskey in one pocket, a bag of weed in the other. You know? Good life. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but my backpack and my guitar. Uh. Sometimes I'm walking down this highway, nothing but my underwear on. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. <laughs> It'd be hot. Yeah. Now, look, let, let, let me ask you this. You're going to do something for us today. What are you going to play for us today? I do. I'm going to do a song called Heartbeat Away. Heartbeat it's been Away. been covered a few times. Okay. I wrote it originally for um, for a female vocals to do it. I had a girl sing it. Right. But everybody likes it, so I, I thought I'd do that one. Okay. All right. Well... Thank you, Gary, for joining us today. Um, he's going to play Heartbeat Away for us. And stay tuned. We'll be right back. Mechatronics Engineering Technology, a high-tech career for the future. Combining mechanical systems, electronic systems, and computers. The field of advanced manufacturing is growing, and jobs are in high demand. Gaston College can give you the necessary training to get the competitive edge in the workforce. With training in both mechanical and electronics engineering technology, this two-year program prepares students for jobs in areas such as instrumentation, calibration, maintenance, and testing. More and more jobs are waiting for people with technical degrees with a wide variety of skills. A job in the mechatronics field could require knowledge of robots, computers, and electronic systems all at the same time. Something a mechatronic student would be well prepared for. Students entering this field of study should be creative, curious, and logical with an aptitude for technology. Are you ready to kickstart your new career? You must have dreamed again last night.
Nice. That was good, man. You sound you, real good. Thank you, sir. All right, appreciate you joining us today. I enjoyed it myself, man. It was really fun. All right. It was good to meet everybody. Now, for more on Gary, if you want to hear him anytime, go to www.reverbnation backslash Gary Ramsey. I'm Rashad Thompson. This is GCTV. Thanks for joining us. Rock on, gang.